Good morning, YTPC. Philippe over Mike here. It is Tuesday, September 7th. Currently 63 degrees, going up to 82. Feels like a Monday. This is the holiday. Today, I am driving in my buddy's uh, work van that uh, has an overheating issue. So I'm hoping I make it into work without too much issue. I started at like the last minute. And uh, just racing to work here. So it might be a shorter video than usual, maybe. Today, thanks to my good friend Randall Arnett, a fellow Virtual Pipe Club member, I am smoking the 2020 Virtual Pipe Club pipe. It's a Bones pipe, Chris Morgan, paneled Levat. I absolutely love this pipe. I got it on Saturday. I was super lucky. I missed out last year when they when they were ordering them. It was kind of right around when I was watching on YouTube before I had joined the Zoom meeting and uh, and the Facebook page. I had just watched on YouTube. Didn't really know that there was you know Facebook page and all that stuff. And um, so I didn't I didn't order a, a pipe. I absolutely would have. Um, if any of you know me, I love special edition pipes, <coughs> anniversary pipes, and I mean, for like the, whatever it was, probably 40, 50 bucks for the Bones pipe. Um, and it's a Lavat, one of my favorite shapes, if not my favorite shape, Lavat Canadian. Um, I, you know, so I, I just had resigned to the fact that I missed out and, you know, he only, they only made a certain amount, whoever ordered them, got them. Um, and if you didn't order it, it was this one. It was a one-time run. It was it. And a couple weeks ago, um, another fellow member had said that he had gotten a brand new one from a guess another member who had bought it and never smoked it and didn't like it or didn't want it. And I was just like, man, I really, really wish that I would have known that. I totally would have bought it. So I just kind of threw it out there and said, hey, if anybody has one used, that. You know, they're willing to get rid of. I would absolutely take it. I'll pay whatever you want for it. And Randall reached out and said, Hey, Mike, you know what? I actually end up with two. I'd be happy to, to sell you one. I said, Oh, that, you're the greatest. Thank you so much. So he, uh, you know, because I just ordered the, the second one, the Meerschaum. Um, the, I think it's like Adelaide or Tinley or whatever. It's like a looks like an L Tang Basic, but it's a Meerschaum. Um, that's the second, the second the 2021 pipe. So now I'll have both, and every every year going forward. So I'm really excited about that. So I smoked it a couple times over the weekend. I love it. And in this awesome pipe, I am smoking some. Peter Stokeby's Bullseye Flake from 2012, which my good buddy Dan Head Honcho over at the New Age Pipe Smokers page uh, sent me with a slew of other other tobaccos, aged tobaccos, very aged tobaccos, which I've done a couple reviews on, uh, the Capstan and the um, Torden Skjold, butchered that probably, but... Um, yeah, this is the third tobacco that I'm doing from his. And he got my, uh, my surprise that I had sent him. He's like, don't send me anything. I said, oh, you don't understand what you just started. So I bombed him with, um, a, a bunch of HU tobacco, um, a tin of director's cut, uh, a tin of Edward G. Robinson or, Ed yeah, um, those, and then I got Haymaker, Tillerman, 
Sunset. I think that was all the HUs. And then I also sent him a bunch of stuff that like I knew he would like. Um, like Burley Flake number five, maybe. Um, what else did I send him? I sent him some, I just started throwing stuff, like open tins I had and stuff. It, yeah, <laughs> C&D tins and stuff um, in a box. And he was like, dude, are you serious? Like, this is this this box blew my mind. It's like, yeah, just my way of saying thanks. You know, he sent me a, you know, a 12-year-old tin or 10-year-old tin of Campaign Dark Flake. He sent me a six ounces of, like, super-aged Navy Flake. All kinds of stuff. The Clone 5100. I mean... So, it's one of the great things I love about this hobby... Um, you know, I bombed, like I bombed Ben Unicorn Piper. Um, it's just, you know, giving and receiving. I love giving more than receiving, honestly. Um, it just brings me a lot of joy knowing that, you know, you unsus unsuspectingly, somebody gets a box and opens it up and goes, what the hell is this? So, good stuff. Speaking of good stuff, um not surprising, but this bullseye flake is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's got, what, nine years of age on it. It's, it's very similar to, I, I, I have had, or I do have some Escudo from around the same, uh, the same vintage. I think the Escudo might be, yeah, 2010 maybe? I can't remember. It's older. Um, but yeah, you can tell it gets real dark. The blend gets real dark. Mmm, man. So good. And I love... What really makes, like... Makes these blends with the Cavendish... Like, the Cavendish, when it ages... The un the unsweetened or unflavored, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> that Cavendish... When that ages and darkens, it really rounds out the blend. It gives you that real nice, sweet, like, ending. Which I love. And it's just like a Scudo, same, same type of deal. I feel like the Bullseye Flake's a tad bit sweeter. Like maybe the the freaks toned down a little bit, or there's more black Cavendish. But whatever it is, it's amazing. So I uh, I sold um, most of the pipes that I have. I have a couple of Radiches left, which I uh, I have one of them up on eBay. I sold this Costello full bent one on eBay. So I took the, the money that I got from those two pipes, the two Costellos that I bought, or sold, and um, I just bought two Moretti pipes. Um, both of them are Briar. One's like a sandblasted Lavat Briar, which is stunning. And the other one is like a stack, like a slightly bent stack, um, but it's like a smooth finished mortar. I mean, it's a stunning looking pipe. Um, I've always liked Moretti's. I've never had one. Um, his pipes tend to be on the bigger side of what my my range is. Um, but uh, these two pipes, and so I basically got those two Moretti's for the same price that I sold both of these pipes for. So it was like 300 euro for both shipped. And I sold the Castellas for like 200 a piece. So it's like 370 something dollars converted for both pipes. So they'll be coming soon. I should be getting my Ryan McCauley pipe back um, with a new stem. And wait till you see this stem. 
we changed up it's not like that highlighter yellow he didn't have any more of that so we went with like this crazy mixed acrylic that it looks like a galaxy <laughs> it's like it's crazy like from if, if I showed you a picture of what the, the block was before he he finished it and then what it is now you'd be like no way there, like there's no way that that stem came from that block so it's definitely not what I thought it was gonna be but it's friggin' stunning and it looks amazing like on with the contrast of the pipe so I love that pipe I'm looking forward to getting that pipe back but anywho well I'm about in to work I have not overheated so there's still enough fanny freeze in here to keep it operating at a normal temperature which is good so hope you guys have a good start to your week it's a short week thank god for that that's a great thing i got some running around to do today and all week uh, my wife's aunt passed away on sunday she was battling cancer um both his, her, her aunt and uncle a married couple have been married for like 52 years um they're both battling cancer his her uncle which is her mom's brother um seems to be doing okay um but his wife lost her fight uh on sunday just a sweetheart of a lady uh, it was pretty sad to hear, so we're going to have a funeral coming up sometime. So obviously my thoughts and prayers go out to their kids, TD, her husband, and all the family. So, um, but yeah, I got, you know, this week's going to be kind of crazy. I got some stuff going on. Anyway, but uh, not to end on a somber note. Sorry about that, but just kind of throw it out there. Um, yeah, I'm uh, just about to get into work. Hope you guys have a great, a great start to your week. Hope everybody's doing well. Randall, thank you so much for this pipe. I can't thank you enough. I am forever indebted to you. I told him you ever need anything, you ever need something, you let me know. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I might. Uh, if I thought Randall um, smoked anything but Prince Albert, oh, what is going on here? I would uh, send him a tobacco bomb, but I don't know that he smokes anything but. but. Anyway, you guys uh, have a great week, or a great start to your week. Remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.